Oh, my God. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. Uh. Say good morning to my baby, y'all. Say good morning to my baby. Say good morning to my baby, y'all. It's moving, too. I say you okay friend i am okay uh, i'm just i'm okay but i'm not to be honest with you because i haven't been able to guess i haven't it's so hard to be to get work done no lie yeah bradley i'm in the studio no lie, I haven't been able to fucking work how I want to because by 7... All right, so I've been waking up lately like at 8 a.m. But I've been going to sleep like at 6 p.m. And no lie, I sleep all day, all night. Like, I can't sleep. Um, I mean, I mean, now I can't sleep. I just sleep, 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 sleep. I just sleep a lot. I sleep so much. Like, I can't even do anything because... And once I go to sleep, I can't wake up. Like, I be telling my engineer or, like, the people around me, like, whatever I do, wake me up. Like, when I went to a uh, <laughs> star event, I literally went in for, like, five minutes. And I went back in the car. And I fell asleep for, like, a whole hour. Then I woke up again. And I went in for 30 minutes. Then I left. And I, and I just slept the whole night. Like, I cannot stay up for nothing anymore. Like, I be getting hypnotized. I'm, I'm done, bro. I'm done. I'm so uncomfortable. Like, I'm done. Like, my back doesn't even feel straight. It feels curved. My back don't... It feels curved. Yo, yo, so what I put on my, uh, in my channel, so I went apartment hunting the other day. While I went in my channel, I, and I put, and I, I took a picture in the bathroom of the apartment that I, I really want, I really want to stay in. I'm not buying an apartment. Well, I could, I could rent to buy, but I really want an apartment in the city because first thing first, like I'm a New Yorker. And our dream as a New Yorker is to always have an apartment in the city. First of all, I don't know why everybody's like, oh my gosh, an apartment. I don't know if to y'all is like a penthouse or something like that, but we don't really call it that. We just, whatever. I just say an apartment. And I really, this is why I don't like how we like blogs be like, yeah, Cardi's getting an apartment after a divorce from Offset. Like, cause that, I'm not getting no apartment because I'm getting divorced. Like, I'm getting an apartment because, look, right now I'm in the city. And, like, right now I'm in the city, right? And I need to go take a shower. And I'm so tired of going to my engineer's gym bathroom to take a shower. Or sometimes I have to fucking rent a hotel to take a shower. Also, my label, I'm going to be more closer with my label. So, I'm going to be coming to, to have meetings with my label, label like twice a week. And on top of that, like I'm trying to get an office out here. So I just need an apartment in the city. I don't understand why I have. I, you know what the thing about it is also a lot of people have this impression that I live in Atlanta. I don't live in Atlanta. I, ne I don't live in Atlanta. I have a house in Atlanta. I don't live there. I only go to Atlanta like three or four times a year. And probably I go for a week, maybe less. I never liked Atlanta. I tried to move in Atlanta in 2018. And I lived there for like six months. And I hated it. I don't have not one friend in Atlanta. And I don't have not even one family member in Atlanta. So I just don't like Atlanta. Yes, I, I have a house there. Me and Officer bought a house in Atlanta. And I just can't, I just can't make it work. I don't like Atlanta. 
Um, and we still have that house. Um, I have a house in Jersey. I bought a house in 2021 in Jersey. I moved in the house last year because it finally got finished. It was a brand, it's a brand new house. I, I still live there. I'm going to always live there. Like it has a huge backyard I, and my kids need a backyard. So I don't understand the whole I'm not getting an apartment cuz I got divorced and blah blah blah. I I I need I need an apartment in the city. As a New Yorker, you need an apartment in the city like I do too much shit in the city for me to be going back and forth to Jersey. Like I do live like 15 15 minutes from 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 the city, but like when it's like traffic, it'd be like 35 40 minutes and it's just so annoying that I was like that's it. I'm getting an apartment out here. And when I'm talking about apartment, I'm not talking about them little shits that y'all got in your mind. Like, why would she move to an apartment? Like, the, the fire. Let me show ya. It's gonna be a little... I hope I get it. Because they was like, it might not be available, but I hope I get it. Uh Oh no, I can't show ya. I can't show ya because Damn, I thought I Oh. I can't show you the apartment because they got the 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 number. Square feet, talk your shit. Yeah, the apartment is like I think like 3000 square feet. But um Y'all be saying the stupidest shit. Like, please. I, I want to make that very clear. I do not live in Atlanta. I have not lived in Atlanta for years. I live in New York. Like, how do y'all not see that? I do, I do Insta stories every single day. Like, what? How you don't see that shit? And I, I just don't like... I, I You know what's so crazy? I don't like nowhere... But New York to live in. Well, I live in Jersey, but Jersey is like practically New York to me. Like some of my family members have moved to Miami, and everybody's like, "Oh, you." Sh-. They be like, "You should move to Miami. You should get like a, a a condo out here." I would never move to Miami. I don't like Miami. I don't like Atlanta. I don't like LA. I just like it here. Like here's where I'm comfortable at. Um. I just, I'm just a real New York bitch. Somebody said people don't be using their brain. Yes, they don't use their fucking brain. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm get off. Why the fuck my stomach is so fucking hairy, bro? Anyways. All right, so like, anyways, I also want to say this. Oh, I'm so uncomfortable. <sighs> so, yeah, I also want to say this because, yeah, my stomach is so hairy and I don't understand because my stomach is never that. Oh, yeah, I do understand. It supposed you get. Damn, I should have never got off the live because now I got 9,000 people. What the fuck? Get back in here, you fucking... Get back in here now. So, yeah, like, I just be... Also, like, a lot of a lot of people be, be hitting me up, like, sending me prayers. Like, how you doing? I know this is a very tough time for you, blah, blah, blah. I really want to tell you that I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that's bothering me right now is that I'm very uncomfortable. My body's very uncomfortable. And I have so much work to do. And, like, sometimes, like, I be wanting things to happen at a certain time. And I feel like sometimes people just move a little bit too slow for me. So that should be pissing me off. But when it comes to personal, I'm okay. I'm just... Sometimes I care. Sometimes I don't. It's, like... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. 
I just feel like whatever. I'm hungry. So yeah. So this is so yeah, like I was saying, like I said, I really want people like sometimes when I get on my my Instagram channel. I really just be, I got, I did that Instagram channel so it could be for me and my fans. Even though there's like over 500,000 people to follow it. But like, don't, like, not everything that I do is because, oh, I just filed for divorce. Oh my God. Like, the vlogs make everything so fucking dramatic. Also, I don't even know why that white girl from TikTok fucking talking about that I'm losing my properties and everything. Like, bitch, no. Like, I just moved in my crib in Jersey fucking last year in july june july and i'm actually getting my nursery done for my crib and not only am i getting a nursery done for the crib like i'm i'm getting a whole fucking chandelier made that is gonna cost like fucking fifty thousand for my full year but it's it's worth it so bitch like i don't know i don't that money talk don't don't come over here with that money talk and I just signed a very, very big deal. I just signed on the dotted ink a very, very big deal for something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. Um, so money's good. Money's great over here. I don't I don't know the type of shit that y'all talking about. Um Y'all really need to stop listening to shit that is that is blind items with no receipts. So, thank you. Ever since ever since that fucking announcement shit got announced, y'all been making up crazy stories about me and this nigga, which are not true. And if I ever if I ever decide to sell like the well my part of the Atlanta house, if this nigga don't want to buy it, that I'll put it on sale like for. Somebody else. If this nigga don't want to buy my part, then it is what it is. Because we bought that house together. But I don't think y'all be understanding. I don't live in Atlanta. I live here. I live in Jersey. I live in Jersey. And I've been living here since ever. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, um... When was it? When the pandemic was happening, I lived in L.A. for like almost two years. And all that time that we lived in L.A., we decided we could never live there. We could never buy a house there. That shit is just not for me. Especially now that they got the... the the. All right, so in L.A., they have this tax. Like, if your house costs over like a million or some shit, you got to pay like a million, whatever the crap, in tax. I don't understand, but it's like, ain't nobody trying to... I wouldn't want to buy a house in LA because it's like, first of all, I'm not going to spend that much money in property taxes. And not only that, you guys already take so much money in taxes. Then I got to take, y'all going to take so much money in property taxes. And then on top of that, like in LA, like there's no good food and yeah, everything is closed at 2 a.m. Who the fuck want to live in a place that everything is closed at 2 fucking a.m.? Like I arrive at the club in New York at 2.30. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's called mansion tax. Like, like that shit in LA, I don't know if y'all seen, everybody's moving out of LA because they want to, they want to charge anybody that has a house over, a, if you have, if you own a house out there that is a million dollars, over a million dollars, or five million dollars, you get charged mansion tax. And the mansion tax is to practically um, provide uh, for the homeless, which I feel like is kind of, I'm a little in defense about that because th there's a thing in LA, every house, you could buy a house in the hood, right? You could buy a house in the hood and it, and it will cost a million dollars. I feel like if you work your ass off, you don't have to be a celebrity or nothing. If you work your ass off, if you own your own business and you put everything in your business and you finally decide, you finally are able to afford a home and the home is like a million dollars and you're getting taxed, you're getting mansion tax and you're fucking, 
in a home like th this is not a this, like a million dollar home to some people is not really luxury like it's like everything in LA is like a million and over and it's like you're gonna charge that you're gonna you you putting mansion taxes on people's shit mind you you have to pay like what how much is it like fucking 46 percent in just taxes alone in 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 la it's like you guys make enough fucking money to provide for the homeless to provide centers for the homeless but you want to charge people that work hard to own a house out there and it's like, oh, well, a million dollar home is a lot of money. So you deserve to get mansion taxes. It's like a lot of people that have million dollar homes don't make that much money in, 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 in L.A. They don't. That's how much anybody like that. That's how much a regular home costs out there. So I don't know. I just feel like mm, I just I just don't I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I, all I know is I don't want to live in LA, but I do live out here. <sighs> Wait, what's just talking about in the comments? See how big my lips look. So, yeah. So, NYC apartment. So, yeah. Uh, can we see the belly? Freak Margo, can you stop fucking... I love you, but please stop mentioning these bitches on my shit. I love you to death, but don't mention these hoes on my shit. Like, that shit is just messy. I just, I just was able to get my bigger house in North Carolina. She said she, at first she said she don't go out when she in Atlanta. The thing is that is that who am I going to go out with when I'm in Atlanta? Like, I only know Offset and his friends. I don't know nobody out there. Like, I don't have friends out there. I don't have family out there. I don't know one person in Atlanta. So, um, when, when me and Offset bought the Atlanta crib, when was it? It was like in 2019. We never had the chance to move in the house because we was like doing shows all around. And then out of nowhere, the pandemic happened. So when the pandemic happened, we decided to stay in L.A. because Atlanta, it was like nobody was taking the pandemic seriously. And uh, we wasn't going to risk, you know, we wasn't going to risk getting sick. So we lived in L.A. for like two years or something. Then when I got pregnant with Wavy, when I got pregnant with Wavy, I was like, yo, I don't want to have postpartum. So I have to be around my family and friends. And I needed, I needed to buy a property like in New York. So in 2021, I was looking for a house. I, I didn't even want a big house, to be honest with you, in Jersey. I just wanted like a small place for me, for my family. Um, for my little family and everything, but then I ended up seeing this huge big house and I was like, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yo, this gotta be my home. And I bought it. It took almost like a year and a half, no, like two years almost for the house to be finished up. And that's where I live at. I want an apartment in the city because right now I'm in the city. So right now I have to wait for my engineer to come so I could go to his gym to take a fucking shower. I don't want to live like that. I have to get an apartment in the city. 
And on top of that, I'm going to be here more because I have new bosses in my label. So I have to, you know, constantly go to Atlantic. I want an office out here. So um, I want an office out here because my immediate team, like Patience and Tubby, we could do more meetings out here in the city. On top of that, like I, like I said, I just signed a big contract for something. And I want my business to be very, very, very successful. And in order for my business to move, I need an office out here. And with the office, I need an apartment out here. It doesn't have nothing to do with like, Cardi's moving out, blah, blah, blah. Like, no. No. My kids need a house. They don't need to live. Gosh, this bitch always fucking face her. It don't have nothing to do. I, I, it don't have nothing to do. Like, oh, she's getting a divorce. Oh my god, she's about like, can ya? It don't have nothing to do with that. It's just I'm just a New Yorker. We need to be in the city. Then on top of that, like, when you go out in New York. She get me tight. If I don't fucking, if I don't answer the fucking second time, why are you calling me thirty three times? Piss me the fuck off. Shit, fucking dumb, piss me off. Oh, one thing about it, baby, with this pregnancy, I get irritated quick. Motherfuckers don't even want to get on Zoom calls with me no more. Like, motherfuckers be scared of... Motherfuckers be scared to be on Zoom calls with me. I be screaming like a motherfucker. I be so mad. I get mad really quick. Everything irritates me. I need to get... I need to give birth to this baby because I don't want people to think that, like, that my character is my pregnant character. Because my pregnant character is mean as fuck. Oh my god, I feel so fucking ugly. Alright, I'm about to get out of here. That shit got me so hot. Alright, I'm about to get out of here. And calling again! And fucking calling again! I'm going to get the fuck out of here because I need to know what the fuck they...